Hey everybody, it is late at night and I am Norman. Tonight we're going to review the Nixon Comp. Back in the day I was on a huge sci-fi kick and I was after watches that looked like they were straight out of sci-fi movies and this watch was one of them. I actually haven't reviewed it yet, so tonight let's do it. Here is the Nixon Comp. This is one of their Lalo models in gray. When I ordered this, I accidentally ordered the ladies watch. However, it's probably for the best because these do not wear small at all. Given the shape of the watch, this actually wears pretty well. I later purchased the men's variant of this and it is huge. So this is the one that I typically end up wearing. As you can see, it has an integrated bracelet and some branding on the buckle there. This is really, really soft rubber. It's actually really comfortable to wear, but it does kind of get shiny as it ages, but that's fine. It has a cool keeper here. So when you put it on, this locks into the keeper like this which is pretty cool these are actually marketed as surf watches you can see that it has a really cool translucent case i love it it looks so cool you can see the battery through it here let's look at the case back we have some basic branding there 100 meters of water resistance called out one downside of these watches, when your battery dies, you have to take this case back off by unscrewing these screws and you have to take the strap off to be able to get this plate off. And to do that, you have to have a screwdriver here and on the other side to unscrew it. And so far, I've yet to pull that off. But when the battery in this dies, I'm going to have to because my local quartz watch guy is no longer around. Sad days. These watches are really thin, which is probably what the lay low refers to. Looks so great. I've mine set to military time because that's even more sci-fi, right? There are three buttons arranged down at the bottom here. One selects the mode. There's a start button and a light button. One cool thing about these watches is they have a battery saver mode. So if you press this middle one and hold it, the screen goes blank. And you can actually use the watch in this mode by pressing this button and it appears for a little while and then it'll vanish. And it actually looks kind of cool like that. I've worn this watch a few times in this mode. And then to set it back to a standard mode, you do the same, hold this. There's really no indication of when it switched over, so you just have to kind of guess. And there we go. For the mode settings on this, there's a chronograph. So to start it, you press this. And then you can stop it. And to reset it, you're going to click and hold this button in the middle. And there it goes. There's also a timer on here. However, this watch doesn't beep and it doesn't vibrate. So this is pretty much useless unless you're staring at the watch. I was really sad when I found this out. I tried using it for exercise and it just never beeped or anything. But to start the countdown, Press the middle button, and there it goes. You can stop it and reset it by holding that same button. Press this again, and now we're back at the time. With these watches, you can also set two different times on them. If you press the middle button, it'll toggle between the two. So here's the time here, 
And there's the second time, which I obviously haven't set. Press it again, and it goes back to my time. And over here is the light button, so we press that. Really cool looking light in these watches. And they're really legible when it's dark. And as you can see, the date is always displayed below the time there, which is pretty handy. To set the time, date, and other options on this watch, you're going to press and hold the mode button. And that will toggle through the different settings available to you. You could advance it forward or reverse. There's the month, the day, toggle 24 hours, seconds, hour, and minutes. And then it's back. As for the specifications on these watches, the case size is 32 millimeters, the lug to lug is 45 millimeters, the height is 9 millimeters, the water resistance is 100 meters, the lug width is 14 millimeters. However, the strap is 27 millimeters and it tapers down to 21 millimeters. Sadly, these watches are discontinued and kind of tough to find but I've seen them out there for anywhere from $50 to $200. So let me take the Olympos off and I'll show you what it's like when you're wearing this watch on space missions. Here is the Nixon Comp on my 7 inch wrist. And as you can see it doesn't wear small at all. That translucent case looks so cool. So much fun. But then again, I love transparent watches. <clears throat> Swatch. So cool looking. And the battery seems to last quite a while since this is just kind of a basic digital display that you get in pieces like F91Ws and whatnot. So cool looking. These are just fun. So there you have it, the super sci-fi looking surf watch, the Nixon Comp. These things are so much fun. They are totally straight out of a sci-fi movie. I love them. Sadly, they're discontinued though, but you can find them on eBay here and there. Thanks for watching.